Yeah, yeah, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises today. I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Aquarius. So let's get to it. So, angels, what's the tea for Aquarius at this time? So it says pride before the fall, walk of shame. We got cut cords, harvesting off your connections. This could be a Pisces. This could be a Taurus. Yeah, it says crazy jealous. Won't you all to themselves. Obsessive as fuck. You got a tower coming soon. And all involved will be affected. It says you are strong alone. You don't need an entourage. And you have, they want to be a witch so bad. But soon as the shit backfire, they playing victim. Yeah, this is somebody with victim mentality. They want to be the victim so bad. This could be somebody grieving, some type of a broken heart. And it's because they haven't healed. It's just that simple. This could be somebody taking their pain, their heartbreak out on you. Like you the one that did something to them. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> Cherry in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. Somebody is not going to be able to move forward. This could be a Cancer. This could be a Sagittarius. Why is pride before the fall? Walk of shame. Yeah, you could be dealing with a king of wands, an Aries, Leo, a Sag, whatever type money that they have coming in. This is causing this person to sleep this night so anxiety. Or you got a king of wands here. The sees that you got this new job opportunity or that you got this new bag and it's causing them sleepless nights and anxiety. Four of Pentacles, because this is somebody that wanting to hold on to some type of money over yours or this is somebody that's wanting to hold on to you. Or they could be wanting to hold back some finances. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm seeing that you worked on yourself though. You mastered yourself. You could be um doing some type of apprenticeship or, you know. But with this Death card, it's like... You went through some type of transformation. You've let them go. It can also be you let somebody go. Because you're working on yourself. And this person could be wanting to hold you back. And cause you sleepless nights and anxiety. And it's all because they want you to give them money. This is a king of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is somebody who always got their hand out. Yeah. With the knight of swords, this is somebody who takes impulsive ass actions. Three of Swords, or somebody took an impulsive ass action. Three of Swords to break your heart. With the Three of Wands, this is somebody at a distance from you. Ten of Wands, carrying a heavy burden. The lovers in reverse, because y'all no longer, what, a pair? Y'all no longer see eye to eye? Y'all don't share, you know, family values? Y'all don't share the same views in a partnership? Why is cut cords, harvesting off the connection? Yeah, temperance. You're being told to alchemize the energy. King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio. I'm seeing that um things are being made balanced for you. But you do have a King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that's experiencing some type of chaos, upheaval, devil. And it's because of their toxic ways. Chariot. I do see that you overcame some type of obstacle go. Page of Pentacles because you've learned the lesson. So it's like you've already learned the lesson. So you get to move forward from a toxic connection. I'm saying that somebody is having some type of downfall here. A King of Pentacles, Taurus, Vigor, Capricorn. Because you was able to alchemize the energy. <laughs> Why is Pisces here? Yeah, with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Hold on, y'all. So yeah, with this Eight of Wands in reverse, something is about to backfire. Whatever somebody has been sending towards you, this Pisces, is going right back towards them. With the world in reverse, something is not yet set in stone. Yeah, with this Knight of Cups in reverse, this is definitely a Pisces. This is somebody who revoked their offer from you. And with the Five of Cups, it's like, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> you're not crying over this offer. You don't, yeah, with the Five of Cups in reverse, it's like, your happiness is coming back. It's like you're going back out. You're going back out there. This is giving like getting back out there. Like after dealing with some type of heartbreak. You feel me? It's like you're not letting somebody hold you back anymore. Yeah, and with this nine of wands, you're persevering. Queen of swords. Yeah, this is definitely your energy. So you're being logic. And you're setting clear cut boundaries here. Knight of wands with a player energy. Yeah, eight of swords that once had you mentally stuck in trap. So definitely you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, bruh. Gemini. 
it's giving me strong Sagittarius though. It's like you persevered. You learn from past failures. And you're cutting somebody off. And it's because of their past. It's like somebody is a playboy, okay? They're in and out of your life. They try to charm you. They they very fast. It's like this person is it's like they not even giving you the king of wands energy. Somebody that is, you know, passionate, you know, charismatic. It's like this is somebody that's in and out. You know, hot boy energy for the streets. Yeah, and with this eight of swords, this is somebody who had you stuck one point in time. And with the hermit, it's like you're ghosting this person. Yeah, it's like this person had you stuck one point in time because they was ghosting you. Seven of Pentacles, but this is them reaping what they sow. Judgment, because you're making a final call. Two of Swords, because you and someone don't see eye to eye. Page of Cups, and you're listening to your intuition. Yeah, you're overcoming somebody who revoked their offer from you. And things are not set in stone here. And this is why things are, you know, going back towards them. It's like if somebody wanted you to be sad, complacent, it's going right back. Why is the Taurus here for Aquarius? Why is Taurus here for Aquarius? Why is this Taurus here? Yeah, this Taurus is this King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands is at a distance from you. Ten of Wands weighed the fuck down. Hermit, because you could be spending time and, you know, isolation. You could be wanting to be alone. You know, you could be wanting to do some type of introspection, some shadow work. And you're the last one standing here. Queen of Swords, yeah, it's like you said. So you could have been dealing with some type of playboys here. And when I say playboys, this, this is a nigga that, or yeah, it's a nigga. You're saying a man. This is a nigga that, you know, still into chasing behind bitches, you know. Trying to get the attention of bitches and shit. You know, it's like in and out of your life. It's like you just don't have time for that shit. And it's like the same energy is repeating with this Taurus and this Pisces. It's like you could have been dating one of the two of the same type of man, but it was different bodies. You feel me? It's like you're not dealing with that type of shit. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you no longer wanting to be stuck to no playboy. It's like you've already learned the fucking lesson. And with the Hermit, you want to spend time alone. It's like you good with being single. Why is crazy jealous? Wants you all to themselves. Obsessive as fuck. Yeah, three of cups. This is a third party. Okay. Eight of cups that you walked away from. Sun card. And it's because you're choosing your happiness. You want to be happy. You want to be content. You want to be surrounded by people who love you. And it's like you're shining. Yeah, and it's like something has been exposed to you. Seven of Swords, a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a scammer. Yeah, a page of Swords. This is somebody that's watching you. Ace of Wands wanting to take some type of passion and new beginning with you. But with the Eight of Pentacles, this is somebody who's going to... It's like you can... I'm not going to make it seem like you can't rely on this person because the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that you can rely on. But the Knight of Pentacles is also somebody who's going to take that person's time to give you what you deserve. You feel me? It's like, yeah, y'all can have this passion in the beginning. But it's like they're going to take their precious time to give you what you deserve. And it's because they're cold as fuck. Like, with this King of Swords, it's like this is somebody that's cold as fuck. I wouldn't say that they are bitter because it would be bitter if they was in reverse. But they're still cold. They're still nonchalant. And with the Four of Cups, you need to reject this person. Scrim card and stand in your power. Like, stand for, stand for something or fall for anything is basically what I'm getting. With the Four of Cups, you're being told to reject this person. With the King of Swords, I could be talking to an Aquarius. I could be talking to a masculine. This could be you. You could be needing to make head over heart decisions, Knight of Pentacles, because you are somebody that's practical, loyal, responsible, and you finish what you start. And yes, you do have this passionate new beginning here. This could be with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, a Sag. Yeah, this is somebody that's watching you. You know, Seven of Swords trying to be strategic. But with the sun card, they're going to be exposed to you. Eight of cups, and you're going to walk away from them. Three of cups, because they have a third party. Some shit like that. Why is tower coming soon? All involved will be affected. Yeah, queen of swords, that's the motherfucking truth. Nine of wands, because you persevered. Nine of wands, by following your passions. Eight of swords, and somebody else is mentally stuck and trapped. Five of cups, crying over spilled milk. Knight of Cups, because they want to come towards you and charm you and sweep you off your feet. But with the World card, it's the end of this cycle. Yeah, with the Eight of Wands, they want to communicate. Ace of Swords, the truth. 
Two of Wands, they want to choose this path now. This could be a Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want to... So now somebody want to give you their love, okay? For my masculines, you could be dealing with a Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is somebody who you want to give your love to. With the Hierophant, this is somebody that you want to settle down with. With the Four of Wands, you know, share a home with. But you do got a Queen of Wands here that is about to receive karma for causing you a painful ending in a partnership. So you could have been in a partnership with somebody, okay? This could have been a Cancer, all right? Scorpio, Pisces. I'm saying that somebody wanted you to go through a painful ending, and now they're getting karma. A queen of wands, Aries, Leo, and Sage. With the higher fit, this could be somebody in your community who wanted you to conform. Four of wands to the family. Okay. Ace of cups. I'm saying that um somebody wants to come towards you with a love offer. This could be a queen of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. That's the fucking truth. Yeah, they're choosing this path. They want to communicate with you, but the cycle has already closed of you dating this person and they're crying over spilled milk because they're mentally stuck and trapped yeah they want to charm you but you've already learned this lesson so you're setting clear-cut boundaries with this person i could be talking to a man okay i could be talking to a woman this could be somebody in your community who wanted you to conform to the family's traditions okay and you're over it <laughs> you know it's just that simple why is you are strong alone you don't need an entourage why is this here? Yeah, a queen of pentacles. So you got a queen of pentacles here and a mother figure. So this is giving, this 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 can definitely be your mother and your sister here. Motherfuckers you grew up with, you know. This queen of pentacles could be older than you with the six of cups. And this could be your mother. You feel me? With the six of wands in reverse, they're about to have a fall for grace. Ten of wands and wave the fuck down. Three of wands at a distance from you. You also got a king of pentacles here. This could be a Virgo. This is a fucking third party that I see you walking away from because they're being exposed. So it's three people here. A king of pentacles, a queen of pentacles, and a mother figure. So this could be your own mother, your sister, your father. Yeah, all three of them was celebrating with each other. I see you walking away from them because they're about to be exposed. Seven of swords as liars. Page of swords. Yeah, it's like curiosity killed the motherfucking cat. Yeah, because somebody watched them take some type of action to slow up your finances, to slow up your prayer, I mean, to slow up your progress, to slow up your path. And with the king of swords, that's the fucking truth. This is why you're being told to cut them the fuck off. Four of cups, reject their offers. Script card and stand ten toes down in your power. Two of pentacles, because they've been trying to play with your money, play with your life, and it's through magic. Yep, causing you poverty, causing you to feel left out in the cold. Ten of pentacles, your own goddamn family. <laughs> Ten of Cups, your own goddamn baby daddy. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, there's a family here. Five of Pentacles that you're about to leave out in the cold. Magician for trying to manipulate a situation. Scrimp card like you ain't got the scrimp to get through. Two of Pentacles, playing with your life, playing with your finances. Four of Cups, trying to get you rejected. Knight of Pentacles, trying to slope your finances. Trying to slope your path. Trying to slope your progress. King of Swords, you're being told to make head over heart decisions. Seven of Swords, because somebody is a liar here. Ace of Wands, and they want to have a brand new passion to begin with you. And with the Sun card, they're about to be exposed. Three of Cups, a group of three people. Page of Swords, that's watching you. Eight of Cups, walk away. Hermit, and ghost them. Three of Wands, they're at a distance from you. A King of Pentacles is weighed the fuck down because they're having a fall from they're having a fall from grace. Run along with this Queen of Pentacles who could be a sister of yours and your own goddamn mother. Mm-hmm. Why is... They want to be a witch so bad. But soon as that ish backfire, they playing the victim. Why is this here for Aquarius? Yeah, hermit. This could be a Virgo that you walked away from. This person watched a third party, bro. <laughs> yeah. This that, You got three bitches watching you walk away and ghost their ass. They thought that this three bitches... They thought that they was going to receive good news. They thought that they was going to get their wishes fulfilled. But they didn't listen to their intuition that if they caused this conflict, they would be blocked. These are motherfuckers who tried to attack you, cause you heartbreak, because they wanted something that you had. Yeah, these are motherfuckers who wanted you to be breadcrumbed. Out here playing mind games, trying to win at all costs. If these was your, your siblings, your mother, the love is not reciprocated. 
It's like y'all don't share values. Y'all don't see shit the same way. And these motherfuckers was plotting on you. Now they on the judgment. Yeah, motherfuckers is on the judgment. With that seven of pentacles, they are about to reap what the fuck they sow. They're karmic as fuck. And they're heartbroken that you defeated them. These are motherfuckers who wanted to these are motherfuckers who wanted you breadcrumb, but not just breadcrumb. These could even be people that was ciphering off your energy, bruh. Attacking you, bruh. Trying to block you. You're being told to listen to your intuition about this group that's so busy trying to cause conflict with you. They're so busy trying to compete with you. You know, fight you, argue with you. This is their wish fulfillment. Because they think they're going to receive good news in this little trio, cult, whatever the fuck they are. They're watching you, though. Walk away and ghost their ass. Meanwhile, they're under judgment for trying to cause you... No, nah, they're under judgment for having divided loyalty with the Two of Swords. See, the Two of Swords means different things. I was going to say they was under judgment for trying to blind you with the truth. But they're under judgment for having divided loyalty. Ten of Swords. For betraying you. Trying to cause you a painful ending. These motherfuckers partner up with each other to create a motherfucking illusion. Yeah, they partner up with each other because they was insecure. Out here trying to create illusions because you was self-sufficient, independent, queen of swords. With that nine of wands, you persevered. You've already learned from past failures, setbacks, and you learned how to be strong through those lessons. So, of course, you persevered. Yeah, you got, you got weak motherfuckers here. Like, you got to cut motherfuckers off. Because you're so sufficient, independent, and they want to paint pictures about you because they're insecure. They even partnering up with motherfuckers to betray you. And they don't want you to see this truth because they know that you will call judgment and ghost their ass. Walk away from their ass. So they're watching you. This trio. They think that they're going to get good news. They think they're going to get their wishes fulfilled by causing this conflict. But you've already listened to your intuition and blocked their ass. After the first attack, yeah, they out here trying to siphon your energy, win at all costs, thinking that you're going to be heartbroken about their karmic ass. These are people that's about to reap what the fuck they sell. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Why is victim mentality? Wants to be the victim so bad. Why is this here for Aquarius? Yeah, judgment. This could be a Scorpio, Hermit, a Virgo. This is somebody who you've already called judgment on and ghosted. With the Wheel of Fortune, I'm saying that the Wheel is turning in your favor. Definitely when it comes to this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This motherfucker was out here paying motherfuckers to cause you sleep as nice and the anxiety because they wanted to hold on to your energy. I'm saying that you've already mastered yourself. This is why they're about to have a backfire with their toxic ass. Because you already overcame obstacles and you've already learned the lesson. This is why Karmic Justice is coming in. Because you've already let somebody go. A King of Cups. <laughs> Girl, boy. Mm, 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 mm. So because you let somebody go, a king of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, and alchemize the energy, something is being laid to rest here. With either your child's father, okay? This could be a Pisces. Yeah, with the justice, somebody is getting karma. Because you've already learned the lesson and overcame obstacles. Yeah, like this demonic-ass energy. So you already overcame, you know... Your toxic ways, your addictions, you know, your, your negative mindset, your mental health issues. Tower, and now something is backfiring. Eight of Pentacles, because you did the work. With the Four of Pentacles, somebody called themselves trying to hold you back. Nine of Swords were causing you sleepless nights and anxiety. They wanted you to be in fear. They wanted you to think that there wasn't a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles, they paid a King of Wands. And now this King of Wands is about to get karma. Hermit, could you talk time to go within to see what it is that you truly need to work on? And that's judgment. Just that, just that simple. Yeah, you had some type of enlightenment. Judgment also talks about you going with the hermit and the judgment. It's also talk about you going within. You going within allows you to be liberated. Like somebody really had you fucked up. <laughs> this is what we're going to call this. Somebody had you fucked Okay, they had victim mentality. Again, they really had you fucked up. They want to play the victim so fucking bad. Like, bitch, be yourself. Why you? Why you the victim? If you a victim, why you attacking me? That's not a victim. That's the abuser. Like somebody out here attacking you. Then, oh my god, they're attacking me. Like, what the fuck? What your weird ass? Somebody weird as hell. It says, "Golden child, chosen one. You are supported. You are love. You got an impersonator here though that wants to take your spot." They want to be you and not them. They hate themselves. Look, 
obsessed with your life. This could be a Scorpio. Or you could be in this Scorpio energy. You could have Scorpio placements. You could be somebody that's very mysterious. It's like you come off dark and alluring. Yeah, somebody tried to make you the scapegoat. Blaming others for shit that they did. They will be exposed. Yeah, because you could have been a ride or die for this motherfucker. Yeah. And they won't dare for you. Yeah, because they was jealous as fuck. This is somebody who was jealous as fuck of you. And they wanted what you had. To the point that they wanted to sabotage you. Yeah, look, underhanded. Doing things to stir the pot. Won't end for them at all. This could be a mama's boy. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. You're not even... Let me not do that. So, angels. Why is Golden Child chosen one? Yeah, six of wands. You will be getting the victor out of here. You will be having the advantage. You will be praised. You will be recognized. Five of Pentacles, why somebody else be left out in the cold from trying to manipulate a situation? Again, this could be somebody that you grew up with. It's three bitches here. So this could be three of your sisters. This could be your own goddamn sisters. Look at this shit. Three of Cups, six of Cups. These, and this can also be a third party of your ex who was trying to manipulate a situation for you to be left out in the cold and you're still getting attention. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, Page of Wands. I'm saying that this group of three or this third party of your ex thought they was going to get good news with this King of Cups. But this King of Cups ended up ghosting their ass because they caused conflict. And now they're rejecting them, which is causing them heartbreak. But hey, you live and you motherfucking learn with that Page of Pentacles. Like somebody, uh, somebody is heartbroken that they've been rejected because they caused all this conflict to get you ghosted from a King of Cups thinking they was going to receive good news. This is a third party of your ex that has been trying to manipulate a situation to have you left out in the cold and you're still getting recognition. This person still wants your attention. So you did that for what? Again, somebody still wants to see you. They still want to be around you. They still want your attention. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> had you fucked up for real. Why is impersonator wants to take your spot, wants to be you and not them, hate themselves? Why is this here for Aquarius? Yeah, with the four of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, we got the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. You've already moved the fuck on from this Pisces. Yeah, with the four of pentacles, somebody called themselves trying to hold on to some deep-rooted past problem. The world, it's already an end to the cycle. Two of pentacles, because you was able to balance out the energy. Yeah, eight of cups when you walked away. Death card and let they ass go. Ace of wands when you took a brand new passionate beginning elsewhere. Yeah, with the nine of wands, you're resilient. And with the full card, you're going to have a brand new beginning. Yeah, eight of wands, somebody calls themselves wanting to communicate. Or somebody could be, you know... Sending out shit. Ten of swords for somebody to betray you. Page of swords. It's like somebody was watching. Somebody slander your name. Because they wanted to cause you a painful ending. Yeah, eight of wands do some type of communication here. Ten of wands, they weighed the fuck down. Knight of wands for taking that impulsive ass action. The emperor when it comes to your child's father. Or when it comes to this masculine. Oh, I could be talking to you masculine. You could be out here following your passions. Which is weighing somebody else down. Page of Swords because they call themselves trying to what, delay a message for you. You're being told to, you know, be fair and think before you speak. Ten of Swords because somebody is trying to cause you a painful ending. Eight of Wands and it's through communication. Yeah. With they weird ass. Somebody weird as fuck. Yeah. And it's because you're having a brand new beginning. You're free. You're original. Nine of Wands and you persevered. Ace of Wands when you took action. Death card to let somebody else go. Eight of Cups to walk away from them. Two of Pentacles and find balance. With the world, it's the end to the cycle. Four of Pentacles to so somebody trying to hold you back or hold on to you. Like, weird fucker. Like, they're a weird fucker. Why is obsessed with your life? <laughs> Why is obsessed with your life here for Aquarius? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus. Scorpio, yeah, somebody, somebody wants something that you have, or this is somebody that's trying to cipher from your solar plexus energy, five of cups, and this is why they're in loss and grief now, star card, because you've already fucking healed from a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, yeah, judgment, so somebody, somebody 
lacks awareness. And now they're about to learn a lesson through karma. Whoever this Taurus is, Scorpio is. Yeah, because they call themselves thinking that they can tell you what you can get and what you can't get in life. I'm also seeing with the Six of Pentacles, somebody could have been given to you and somebody else. And this is how they lost you. I'm seeing that you've already healed from this King of Pentacles who was indecisive. You feel me? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You worked on yourself. Four of Swords. Now you're taking a break. Nine of Cups from dating. Yeah, you got a Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of Swords that you're moving away from. Ace of Swords because you got truth. Two of Swords that this person has divided loyalty. With the Ten of Cups, this could be your own fucking family. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this is somebody, bro. This is somebody who's your family through marriage or yeah this is somebody who is somebody who's your family through marriage or this could be a fucking family member or this could be both there could be a queen of pentacles it could be a taurus virgo or capricorn or this could be a pisces and a virgo who want to call a truce now now that you have this long-term relationship yeah this could definitely be a family the work i mean the Wheel of Fortune that's getting karma. Four of Wands, a community here. Yeah, King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. So this could be this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Four of Wands, community. Wheel of Fortune that's getting karma. Ten of Pentacles. This could be pertaining to some type of financial income or lump sum of money. Ten of Cups, yeah. There are some type of family gathering together. Ace of Swords, because they know the truth. Six of Swords, this is why you're moving on. From this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Swords, y'all don't see eye to eye. Knight of Cups, and they want to date you. But with the Four of Swords, you're taking a break from that shit. Judgment. And it reverse. And it's because this person lacks awareness. And they're unwilling to learn the lesson. <laughs> the fuck? You don't have time for this? Yeah, there's also a King of Pentacles here that's wanting to work with you, heal something with you, and somebody else is in hell of regret. Because they wanted... What? Because they got bragged from by this person? It's giving... You got a bitch watching you. I'm guessing she wanted to receive the same thing you was receiving. Okay? Or say like for my masculines, you was dealing with somebody. Somebody from your past. They could be envious and jealous of somebody that you got in your life right now. They could be feeling like as though you gave them the bare minimum. And they could be having some type of vengeance now. Like it's, it's weird though. It is. Why is Pluto, Scorpio, very mysterious, seem dark and alluring? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Things is coming into fruition. Your hard work is paying off. You could be harvesting your rewards. Yeah, Ten of Wands or somebody else is weighed the fuck down. Nine of Wands that you out here following your passion. Emperor. Yeah, so I could be talking to a divine masculine. You're out here following your passions. You're confident. You're excited. And um, <laughs> you're shameless. <laughs> you come off as a, as a very warm, charismatic type of dude. And somebody else is weighed down. Because they want you to invest in them. But with the sun card, somebody got exposed to you. Eight of Wands through either text message, emails, phone call. Yeah, a fool card. This is somebody who you set yourself free from. Nine of Wands, you persevered. Ace of Wands, when you took that action. Death card to let their ass go. Eight of Cups and walk away from them. Two of Pentacles, because you was able to balance out the energy. The World card, which closed out this cycle. Four of Pentacles of this person holding on to your energy. It's like somebody was trying to hold on to your solar plexus energy, bro. I'm not even, bro, I'm not even playing. That Four of Pentacles, look at this shit. Somebody wanted to hold on to your solar plexus energy. They wanted to, you know, oh, you're not going anywhere type energy. It's the end of that cycle. Of this person causing you ups and downs, you're walking away and you're persevering by letting their ass go and taking action to set yourself free. Now they want to communicate after they've been exposed to you masculine. You're out here following your passions and it's weighing their ass down because they want you to invest in them. Page of swords to the point that they're watching you. Ten of swords. I'm also saying this person watched you go through a painful ending. They watched you get, you know, talk bad about they watch somebody curse you, spread lies on you. Knight of Swords. Now they want to rush in, Ace of Cups, and make a love offer. This is a king. This is a queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sage, Hierophant, that's fucking married. Five of Pentacles. This is why you need to lead them out in the cold. Magician. Because they're a fucking manipulator. You don't need to be dealing with nobody like that. Hell no. Nah. Like, at least claim you're mad. If you're married, you're married. What the fuck is you lying about being married for? 
Like, you're married. It's okay. But I'm not about to be your, your sideline nigga. Like, what? Eh. Or somebody could be married to a queen of wands. And you're not about to be their sideline hoe. It's just that simple. Or they've been in a long-term relationship with this hoe. <laughs> Why a scapegoat? Blaming others for ish they did will be exposing themselves. Yeah. King of swords, that's the truth. Two of wands. Because somebody had two paths to choose from. This king of pentacles made a bad adjustment. Look, man. Something is the truth here. Somebody chose a path here. This could have been Aries, a Taurus. And they was unwilling to learn the lessons of karma. Four of swords. Now, they're being taken a break from. Or now, they're going through fear and anxiety. Mental, uh, mental overload. Nine of cups. Yeah. Because they tried to charm you. Two of swords. <laughs> This is somebody that's fucking two-faced as fuck. Okay, they're two-faced as fuck. One minute they show you this, the next minute they show you that. This is the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles has divided loyalty. This is somebody you could have been dating that you're taking a break from. Yeah, with the Six of Swords, I see you moving away from this person. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Ten of Swords, about this person that you was in a long-term relationship with. Ten of Pentacles, family. Mm -hmm. Weirdo. And with that will of fortune, they're about to get karma. So, karma is about to come to this family. Yeah. They could be wanting to have a reunion. That's the truth. But you're moving away from this Queen of Pentacles. Because they're two-faced. Again, this could have been somebody you was dating. That you took a break from. And it's because they was unwilling to learn the lessons. Yeah. But the King of Pentacles, you got a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Who chose some type of path. And you're being told to cut their ass off. Because that's the truth. You're not this person's fucking scapegoat at all. <laughs> so they can mix you with that bullshit. Yeah, you could have been a rider for this person. It's like you was there for them through thick and thin. Why is this here? For Aquarius. Yeah, two of pentacles. And they ain't do nothing but cause you imbalances in your life. Nine of cups with their selfish ass. The lovers, this could have been a couple. Empress and your own goddamn mother. Five of swords playing mind games. Two of cups. Yeah, they partner up with each other. So your mother and a couple. So it's a couple. Or this could have been even your lover and your mother. Trying to bully you. Intimidate you. Be aggressive. Cause you pain. Yeah, but the two of cups, they partner up with each other. Seven of wands to block you. Hey, man, because they wanted you to feel trapped. They wanted you to lack direction. And with the high priestess, you're being told to listen to your intuition. About the queen of cups. Because this person was truthful. And with the three of wands, it's somebody that distance from you. Page of Pentacles, who, um, a towards River Capricorn wanted you to jump on a bear wagon against. Six of wands, it's being shown. Eight of swords, that somebody is powerless. Magician, because of their manipulating ass ways. Six of cups in the past. Hmm. This could be read different type of ways. So, because you let go of somebody and took a brand new beginning elsewhere, you got an ex here. Trying to manipulate a situation <laughs> with the Six of Cups magician. Eight of Swords because they feel powerless. Six of Wands to your success. Page of Pentacles in your investments. Three of Wands, they send the shit towards you. And with the Justice, they're going to get karma. This could be a Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's a Queen of Cups here who you're being told to listen to your intuition about. Because they're trying to defeat you. They're trying to sabotage you. And yes, they will be blocked. This mother figure and this couple. Because they partner up with each other. Thinking that they was going to get their wishes fulfilled. we causing you imbalances. And you want nothing but a ride or die for these motherfuckers. See, that's why you can't really fuck, girl. Look. It be the ones. It be the ones close to. Why is jealous as fuck? And want what you have. What sabotage you? Why is this here? For Aquarius. Yeah, you need to check the deuce with whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, it's all because of some type of financial new beginning, a new job, a new business, money, investments, savings, prosperity, security, stability, some type of abundance or something that you do for work. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups, somebody is going to have to walk away. Three of Cups, this group of bitches. High Priestess, I'm also being told somebody paid somebody to walk away from you. A group of bitches. You're being told to listen to your intuition. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups, you're already intuitive. And with the Justice, you already know the truth. 
Three of Wands, about somebody at a distance from you. Page of Pentacles, because you've already learned the lesson. Two of Pentacles, to the point that you was able to balance out your life. You was able to balance out, adapt, and be flexible. Nine of Cups in your wishes is being fulfilled. Two of Cups in a partnership. Lovers with a soulmate. Yeah, you're showing up as the Empress. So, you're the Empress. Seven of Wands, and you're being told to stand your ground. Because you got motherfuckers who feel as though you don't deserve what you have. And with the hangman, it's because they're feeling trapped. Five of Swords, having to surrender. Nine of Swords, after taking some type of impatient or impulsive ass action. Ten of Swords to cause you a painful ending. They're mad. Because you're the empress. And somebody chose you to partner up with. To invest in. They see you as their wish fulfillment. And somebody been at a distance from you. Trying to cause you imbalances. And they're going to get karma. Because you're going to listen to your intuition. About this queen of cups. Third party. And you're going to walk away from their ass. Ace of pentacles. Because it's all about the money. With this bitch. Like, why is you watching my pocket like that? Why is you watching who I'm dating? Like, what? Somebody is mad about your bag and about your relationship. And if you're not in a loving relationship, this could be a relationship that you have with God, with spirit, with your ancestors. Shit, this could be you and your best friend. Shit, this could be you and your brother, you and your sister, you and your mother. Like I said, somebody is underhanded and they're doing things to stir the pot. But it would not end well for them. Why is this here for Aquarius? Get seven of swords. Somebody is very deceptive. They're a liar, a cheater, a thief. And they're an enemy disguised as a friend. This is somebody who is spying on you. Trying to go tick for tack. They want to come in like they're resourceful, okay? The moon card. But this is somebody that's insecure. To the point that they're willing to create an illusion about you. Nine of Pentacles because you're self sufficient, independent. And they're going through a tower. Yeah, because you had the strength to balance out the energy that was toxic. And you overcame an obstacle. And that's the motherfucking truth. I'm saying that somebody had a path to choose. And they chose this King of Pentacles. And you chose to cut their ass off. This is somebody who tried to either brag from you or try to dictate what you got and what you didn't get. Now they're crying over spilled milk. I'm also seeing that somebody is crying over the fact that, you know, they tried to take something from you. And you cut their ass off. And set. It's like with this Queen of Swords. You already knew the truth. This is why you set clear-cut boundaries. King of Swords made hand over heart decisions. King of Pentacles. Definitely when it came to this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Two of Wands, because whatever path they chose, Chariot, you still overcame an obstacle. Devil, that this toxic-ass couple. Or this could be you overcoming mental health issues. This could be you overcoming secret obsessions. This could be you overcoming deception, dependency, you know, abuse, violence, aggression. Yeah, scrim card. You had the scrim to overcome. You had the inner strength, the carriage, the bravery, the self-confidence to overcome self-doubt. And now somebody else is about to go through a tower because you was able to alchemize the energy and be self-sufficient and independent. And now somebody is insecure, wanting to lie on you, <clears throat> wanting to snake you. Yeah, because they're crying over the fact that you was able to heal and work on yourself. It's just three motherfuckers who work together who you're taking a break from. Hmm. Why is mama's boy would do anything their mother tells them to do? Why is this here? Yeah. Here you go. A Taurus. Aries. This is the king of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Two of Wands, they chose the path. So this is a Taurus and an Aries. High Priestess, you're being told to listen to your intuition. Justice, because this is how you're going to get your karmic justice. Two of Pentacles, because somebody is wanting to cause you imbalances. Yes, you will be able to adapt to the situation, but this is the truth. Somebody wants to fuck with your money in your life. Three of Wands, so they're sending shit towards you. Nine of Cups with their selfish ass, thinking that their wishes is going to be fulfilled. Page of Pentacles, this is somebody that's practicing magic or tarot. Two of Cups partnering up with somebody. Their lover. Because you walked away from this group of three. Or because you got a Queen of Cups here. Third party that you walked away from. Or this Queen of Cups. Third party walked away. 
from their lover, made an investment to get a wish fulfilled with a lover or with a partner. It's just somebody that distance from you. That's getting karmic justice as a high priestess after somebody tried to cause imbalances. This is their choice. Uh, Taurus, Aries, somebody. Hello? Yolanda Lee and I have a son yeah it's Yolanda Lee and I have a son he's four years old now I already had filled out um the Yorktown pre-k application but um they didn't get back with me now his immunizations when I had applied at CHKD and stuff like that they keep pushing me back so it's like uh now I'm going to get his immunizations on the fourth but I know that I have to have his IEP too. So I was trying to kill like two birds in one stone. So I was trying to see like how can I get his IEP done? Because I really feel as though he need help. No. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. I stay in. Oh, shoot. Okay, I stay. I stay at one zero three. River Meat Court. Um, M E A D E. Yeah. Court. Apartment L. Two three six nine zero. It's your town. Yes. No, I know. Yeah, he he. It's like I've been trying to teach him myself. But, like, he, like, he know his colors and stuff like that, but he won't communicate his colors. Like, I can show him the color. He know the color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 